Hey guys, it's Scribble No More again, and I am really excited to do this video because Ann Blocker suggested that I draw a cute dragon, and I love, I absolutely love drawing dragons. And my friends said, my, a lot of my friends said I'm pretty good at drawing them. So, what are we waiting for? Let's get started. So, first, what you're going to do is you're going to draw. A light circle right here. I'm gonna draw a light circle. Then another one right here. And then a smaller one beside it. Not too far away. Because when you connect those, it's gonna be a snout. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna draw the guideline for the tail. It's gonna go like this. Kind of like. Not as curvy backwards ass. And then you're going to draw another one. Keep them light. Because if you, cause you're going to erase these later. And you can color it in however you want. And then you're going to draw two more circles. And those are all your guidelines. So then what you're going to do... Wait, no. There's one more guideline for the wings. There. There's all your guidelines. Here's what you're going to do. Let's just randomly start with the tail. So draw it hard. It's going to go in front of the wing, so you want to erase the guidelines in the wing. And it's going to come back. But I'm, I'm not going to do a regular tail. I'm going to do a spade. A classic spade. Like that. That's what I'm going to do. Let me zoom in. Wait. It gets blurry a lot. So here's what we're going to do next. We are actually going to erase the bottom. Don't make it too fat. Because there's going to be more to it. Make it a little thinner. Like that. There's going to be more. And now let's start on the body. So the body is going to be overlapping the tail, so you actually know that the tail's behind it. Don't draw over any of the legs' guidelines, which are these weird circles that we've drawn earlier. Don't draw through any of them, because the legs are going to be right there. You... And then you're just going to continue it till you get to the very top. And then let's start on the head. So what we're going to do, we're going to connect these with the hard line, the two circles that I drew earlier. And then we're going to draw a nostril for the end. What you're going to do is you're going to make it not as round, but a little pointy. And then what you're going to do, you're going to draw a horn right he about here. It's going to curve up and then back. There's going to be another one, too. So you know there's two. If there was just one, it would practically be a unicorn. And then what you're going to do, you're going to draw a line going down and then connect it to the snout. This is where his eye is going to be. Make it big because it's a cute dragon. The element being cute to anything is just having big eyes. Okay, now here comes his pupil. There's his iris right here. I'm going to color it in a little bit so you know that it has color. And remember, color it in however you want. You don't have to color it in with pencil like I am. And then draw another big shine right here. It's going to be bigger than the last one, but it's going to be up in the edge. And then color in the eye. So it looks like that. And now the mouth. You're just going to draw a cute little smile <laughs> and that yeah <laughs> it's adorable you're gonna draw a cute little smile and draw some lines on the horns so you know that it's twisting or something and don't match them perfectly up because then it'll just look weird 
and then what you're going to do is you're actually you're going to make this back side flat and you're going to connect it to this. Don't make his neck that thin cuz we're going to add some other stuff right here and leave this part open cuz then the other stuff the other stuff we're going to add we're going to add that later. Let's start on the feet. You're going to draw the lines, and then when the curve comes here, you're going to stop. And then what you're going to do is you're going to draw the feet. Draw, okay, make the ends a little bigger. Make the ends wider, and then just start drawing these weird circles with triangle things in them. And keep on doing that. Do it about four times, because he's going to have four claws. And then what you're going to do is you're going to do the same thing on the other side, only in reverse. So if your talons curve this way that time, then it's going to curve the other way on that foot. Keep on doing that. Sorry, I was just focusing. And then, once you're done with all four toes, or how many ever you want, then just start on the back feet. What you're going to do is you're going to follow this big, thick line. Don't make it thin at the top or else it'll look weird. And then make it come in. And do the same thing with that foot. Draw the circles with the toes. You don't have to make the talons look as weird. I'm kind of bad at drawing facing the front things. Um, but I have no problem with drawing facing the front things at all. Um, like, I'm perfectly happy doing that. And then what you're going to do after you do this, you're going to start drawing the wings. Okay, so you're going to do your guideline and then stop up here. And then you're going to curve and then stop. And then you're going to make it go up. But stop right here. Because you're going to add a talon. Go up. And then there. Add a talon. Going that way. And then go down. Follow the guideline. Make it parallel. Do the same thing with all the other ones too. And then you're just going to keep drawing the claws and then what you're going to do you're going to do the wing membranes like that and there you have his wing do the same thing on the other side keep on doing it and then what you're going to do after you're finished doing that wing, you're going to continue right here. If you were wondering why I left that blank space, it's so you can add stomach plates. So I don't know what they are actually. I'm just going to call them stomach plates. Now make sure they don't overlap the feet. Make them go behind it, the behind the feet. Behind, ugh, I cannot speak today. Behind the feet, and then do a little bit on the tail. That's why I made it thinner. And there you have it. You have your cute little adorable dragon. If you want, you can add some facial details, like maybe a little blush right there. And then what you, and then, that's it. You are done. 
This is your cute little dragon. Aww. His toes might be a little ferocious, but look at his face. <laughs> I am really happy to have done this video. And I will see you guys next time. My battery's almost out, so I better cancel it. See you later. Bye.